My name is Dr Sophie Salden and I'm a postdoctoral researcher from the University of Birmingham. I'm going to talk you through an investigation of the effects of the dopamine antagonist haloperidol on movement speed in a drawing task. Movement is crucial to our everyday lives, such as when riding a bike, when drawing, or when writing a letter. However, when movement is disturbed, such as in individuals with Parkinson's disease, this can lead to difficulties with these otherwise simple tasks. Much research has investigated the role of the neurotransmitter dopamine in movement speed, with decreased brain dopamine leading to slowed movement initiation and reduced vigour in movements made towards a target. Additionally, when patients with Parkinson's disease experience withdrawal from medication designed to increase levels of brain dopamine, they show abnormalities in handwriting movements compared to when on their medication. To date, however, studies which analyse drawing movements have focused on elliptical shapes, whilst this doesn't take into account shapes which are more angular, like the square. We wanted to investigate the role of dopamine in drawing speed using the dopamine antagonist haloperidol, which acts to block D2 receptors in the brain, decreasing levels of dopamine in these areas. 37 healthy adult participants took part in a double-blind placebo-controlled procedure and on two separate days they completed the following. Firstly, a health screen check before the administration of either 2.5 mg of haloperidol or a placebo. One hour and 45 minutes after drug administration, they completed a visual working memory task and four hours after drug administration, they completed a drawing task. During the drawing task, participants used a stylus to draw three different shapes on a Wacom touchscreen. X and Y positions were recorded 133 times per second, and for each participant, indices of overall speed were calculated. Here you can see our results, split by high and low working memory performance. Drawing speed differed as a function of shape, with ellipse shapes of higher speed. There was no effect of drug on working memory, and drawing speed was significantly slowed by haloperidol, compared to placebo. However, there was an interaction between drug and baseline working memory, such that haloperidol slowed drawing of all three shapes only in participants with low baseline working memory, whilst there was no effect of drug in those with high working memory. So in conclusion, we demonstrate how oral administration of the dopamine antagonist haloperidol affects drawing movements. We also advocate the use of this task to assess movement difficulties in Parkinson's disease. And finally, we show that the effects of modulating dopamine is dependent on baseline working memory, and this is likely because it represents baseline levels of dopamine in the striatum. Thank you very much for listening.